Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video we will be creating the rest of our HTML templates. So let's get started. So here's what we did in our last tutorial. So what we did was we created a base.html page, and we also created a home.html page, which displays these elements, and we did those using Django templates. So now the first HTML page we're going to be creating is the redirect page. So what this redirect page is, is it's the HTML page that will be shown to the user when the user goes to our domain slash the shortened URL. So to do that, let's go into our templates folder, add a new file. Oops, I clicked out of it. Add a new file. We're going to call that redirect.html. Click enter. And you will need to paste in this code. And you can find this in the GitHub link in the description. So first, let's actually indent this. And if we look at these Django template tags, you can see that I've already explained what this uh, extends tag is these and these block tags. And I've explained these in the last tutorial. But if you look at these tags, the ones with the double curly braces, you can see that they are pretty new. But if you look at these tags, you probably haven't seen these before. And these are called variable tags. So a variable tag is basically a tag that you can use to vary the content on the page, depending on what you pass into this file using our views.py file. And I will explain to you how to do this in the next tutorial. So basically what this will do is it will show URL and then it will show the original URL. And you can see that this corresponds to the model fields and models.py. So if I open that up right now, you can see that there is the original URL right here, as well as short URL right here. So that's how you use variable tags. So you can use variable tags basically anywhere. And once Django sees these double curly braces, Django knows to actually place the variable in instead of double uh, curly braces, and then this text. So you can put this anywhere, including inside an href, inside um, h tags, or basically anything that you need. Okay, so now the next file we will need to create is called create.html. So we we'll click new file, and type in create.html. So what this file will do is it is basically the file that houses the form that will be used to create our short URL. So what this HTML page will contain is a form, so a basically an input field. And right next to that, there will be a, a button that says submit or something like that. And it will then redirect you to another page where it will show you what your finished URL is. So now what we will need to do is just paste in this code. And I will have this create.html file inside the templates folder in the GitHub link in the description. So you can just go take a look at that and copy all that stuff in. So right here, again, we see that there is this extends and block content that you already know of. And right here, you'll see two of these tags. So we will be implementing these forms in a future tutorial. But basically what the CSRF token is, is some security measures that Django has put into place to prevent uh, cross-site forgeries and just other security things that Django just handles for you. And this form is basically the form that we will allow the views.py to pass through into this HTML file. And this will contain our actual input field. So now once our URL has been created, we need to actually display that URL to the user. And to do that, we'll create a new file and we'll call it URL created.html. Let's just do that, URL created.html. And so basically what this file will contain is a small pop-up that will say your short URL and then it will have the domain slash 
and then our URL characters. So the reason why we have this in a separate document is so that once views.py sees that the actual short URL has been created and put into the database, it will just redirect it completely to another file. And so that way I won't need to put in any um, if statements or anything into our create.html to get rid of this form and put a new file in. So that's basically what we need to do for URL created.html. And now finally, if the user goes to a page or a short URL that doesn't exist on our site, we need to present them with a page not found. So what we need to do for that is to create a new file and we need to call that page not found.html. Just put in page not, not found.html. And we basically have to just paste all this code into here. So what this will do is it will just dis uh, display a friendly page not found error instead of Django's basic page not found. So now we need to open up our views.py file and we need to create two more view functions. And to do that, let's just create a new function. We're going to call this create short URL. And this will be the view function responsible for our create.html and URL created.html pages. So what this will do is it will take in a request and now we'll just put in pass for now because we will implement this in a future tutorial. And now we just need to create another view function which will be responsible for our redirect. So we need to define redirect. That'll take in a request and, and right here, we will just need to put in a pass as well, because we will implement this as well in a future tutorial. So now we need to go into urls.py inside the URL short app. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. So now we just need to add another element in this URL patterns list. And we want this to redirect all the uh, requests going to the create uh, page of our website to our create uh, view. So to do that, we'll just need to type in path. We'll need to open up parentheses and we need to open up double quotes. And in here, we, what we need to type in is just create followed by a slash. Now we need to put a comma and we want it to be our URL uh, created function. So create short URL function right here. And to do that, we'll just import this. So create short URL. Pretty sure that's how I spelled it. Nope. URL. And we'll just need to type in create short URL right here. And we'll name this. So name is equal to create. And so what this will basically do is it'll redirect all the traffic going to our domain slash create to this create short URL function. And now finally, we'll need to add a comma, add another element to this URL patterns list. It will be another path function. Let's open up double quotes for now. I'll leave that empty and let's go to the next one. So we'll need to add a comma, redirect. And this will go to redirect and we'll name this redirect. And in these quotation marks, what we'll need to type in is a, an angled bracket and we need to type in str colon URL and close the uh, corner bracket. 
So what this is, is basically this will tell the Django engine to pass anything that is inside these quotation marks, so any string that's inside these quotation marks, into our redirect function. And we will access this in the next tutorial. And remember, you don't need to memorize any of this syntax right here. You can always look all this up on the Django documentation. And one major skill of programming is the ability to actually look up documentation, because most programmers don't actually know all the syntax of certain libraries, but they have the skills to go in to any documentation and figure out exactly what you need to do. So that is the end of this Django tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.